Hello everyone, welcome back to this video on application of CropStart software for statistical analysis. In this video, I am going to discuss about basics of CropStart software, its applications and how to use this CropStart software for different types of statistical analysis and at last I will show you the preparation of data sheets for this CropStart software and how to use this CropStart software for analysis of ANOVA test will be discussed in this video. Before going to know about the CropStart software, let us start with basics of CropStart software. This CropStart software was developed by International Rice Research Institute, Manila, Philippines. And this CropStart software is an important statistical software which is used to analyze different types of statistical analysis and this original version of the software you can get from this International Rice Research Institute website and also it is available freely you can download from this Google and in the Google if you write CropStat then the uh, free version of this CropStat software will be appear in the Google and you can click and you can download the software and you can use this software for your statistical analysis. Before going to know about the CropStat software, let us know about ANOVA. ANOVA stands for Analysis of Variance. This is one of the statistical tests used for comparison of several means. And this ANOVA test was developed by statistician Ronald Fisher in the 1925. It is one of these important analysis where we can able to find the variability or variance among the different types of samples. Among the different types of variables, we can analyze the variations. And the main aim of this ANOVA is comparison of several means can be possible through this ANOVA test. And the main idea in the analysis of variance is that we have to take into account the variability within the groups and between the groups. ANOVA is stands for F which is equal to the ratio between the sum square mean sum square of between the groups and within the groups. So, F is equal to mean square between the groups divided by mean square within the groups. Then ANOVA partitions the total variation and this total variation is partitioned into two parts. One is variation due to treatments another is variation due to random sampling and different types of variations can be measured through the ANOVA test. Let us see this is the standard ANOVA table and in this standard ANOVA table you can see the variation in different labels. Among the replications we can found the variations, among the variety we can find the variation, among the treatments we can also find the variation and also variation due to variety and treatment means also we can compare by the means of ANOVA test and in this ANOVA table this is DF stands for degree of freedoms and degree of freedom as you know degree of freedom is equal to the number of observation minus one that is known as degree of freedom. It also calculates the sum of square of different variations or different variabilities and mean square of different variability. Then it calculate the F ratio and probability level is required to test whether this F ratio or F value is significant different or not. Let us discuss about the preparation of data sheet for CropStat software. In the CropStat software itself data can be entered and also data sheet can be prepared in the Excel sheet. Let us see how the data sheet can be prepared in Excel and in the Excel suppose this is the data sheet I have prepared for three varieties are there and the treatment level is 2 and replication is 2, number of observations is 2 and these are the different types of parameters. Yes. So first of all we have to arrange in the three levels. We have to see the variations in the variety levels, 
and in the treatment level and in the replications levels and in the so we have to prepare the data set like this variety b stands for variety then after that we have to write dollar then treatment t stands for treatment dollar r stands for replication dollar then after that suppose there is three varieties we have written three variety like this then treatment there is two treatments two treatments one treatment treatment one and treatment two then replication there is two replications so one and two and these are the different types of parameters or you can say these are different types of variables we have arranged like this and this data sheet can directly transfer can directly use in the CropStat software. So let us see how to use this CropStat software for different types of statistical analysis. And in this CropStat software, first we have to enter the data which is prepared in the Excel sheet. And in the first step is we have to first press on this window button. And in the window, there is two options. One is called data editor, another is called text editor. Then we have to go for data editor. In this data editor, then another data editor window will come. And in this data editor window, we have to first press on the file. Then there will be another command that is known as import data. Then import data to Excel workbook. Then Excel workbook, we have to find the destinations where our data is. Then we have to then we have to uh, enter the which sheet we have prepared our data. The sheet one. Then we have to go for OK. Then variable number name not in the proper format. Then we have to go for OK. Then all the data has been imported from the Excel sheet to the CropStat softwares then we have to save it then after that we have to return back to this menu and we have to go for original window menu of this crop start softwares in this crop start software there are different types of options one is called file another is edit data analysis utility like this and first of all we have to clear all the text or all these different types of previous analysis can be clear by clicking the edit options then we have to go for analysis analysis we can um, go for uh, this uh, softwares one is summary statistics scatter plot balanced ANOVA unbalanced ANOVA mixed variables regression analysis correlation analysis and qtl analysis like this different types of analysis are there today we will uh, um, today we will see the anova analysis so we have to go for balanced anova test analysis of variance format will comes then after that these are the different types of variables and first we have to select different types of variables which is we want to analyze which we want to analyze first we have to select the variables and we have to add here then the label of variables or the different factors we have to choose first one is the replication then is the then is the treatments then is the variety that means we have we want to analyze the ANOVA in different levels and these are replication, treatment and variety. Then we have to select all these tricks and we have to, have to select variety and the treatments for the to see the variety into treatment level of variations and in this model we have to first arrange. Then after that we have to press OK and if we press ok then automatically it will calculate the data this is the ANOVA sheet of different parameters suppose spa this is chlorophyll this is the ANOVA table of carotenoid like this so one of these variables that is chlorophyll in this chlorophyll this is analyzed in different uh, replication level treatment level variety levels and variety into treatment levels and this is the degree of freedoms as you know degree of freedom replications we have two replications so degree of freedom is one treatments we have two treatments so degree of freedom is one variety we have three varieties so degree of freedom is two variety into treatment the degree of freedom is two then it has been calculated that is sum square 
mean square and f value and after that it is known as probability levels and on the basis of the probability level we have to see whether this f value is significant or not after that you can see the lsd value in each variety into treatment tables you can see these are the different types of parameters and these are the mean values and on the basis of this LSD value, which is given 5% level LSD, that means on the basis of this LSD value, compare the mean value of different varieties on the basis of this LSD value. If the difference is more than the LSD value, then it is statistically significant. If it is less than the LSD value, then it is not statistically significant. In the last table, also you can find the coefficient of variations. This is the coefficient of variations of different parameters. Suppose SPAD index 18.3% is the coefficient, chlorophyll is 12 and carotenoid is 8.2. On the basis of the coefficient of variation, also you can judge the variation and variability among the population and within the population, among the variety, within the treatments or among the treatments, you can judge and you can compare. This is all about the analysis of variance test in the CropStat software and please don't forget to like, share and subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching my YouTube video. Thank you. Thank you all.